Welcome to Terraria Episode 5. Here I'm going to fight Plantera, which is the next boss after the three first mechanical bosses. Got my collection of buff potions here. And an arena that will give me decent maneuverability. Um, just my basic plan being to circle strafe Plantera while keeping the other nearby monsters out. I've got the heart statue set up, so I should have plenty of health. And in the lower right, the temporary buff stat, um, whatever those things are. And this little red bolt down here is how you start the fight. And I've got a few summoned uh, eyeballs. I got that from essentially killing the twins. And here comes my Terra. And basic approach is just to keep away from the central uh, bulb while using the yo-yo to do damage. Pink spiky balls that he's dropped do a decent amount of damage, but looks like my defense is high enough that even those aren't really a threat at this point. I think these little chompy mouths are doing more damage. But overall, nothing's able to keep up with the healing rate that I get from these statues. And that's Plantera. So the loot, the spore sack that I've never used seedling that I don't care about, and then Nettle Burst, which is effectively an upgrade of uh, Vile Thorn, I think it's called. It's a spell that will go through walls, so if you need to damage something on the other side of a wall, you can use that. But the yo-yo in situations like this works a lot better. And the, uh, the spear that I have that I'm not even using right now, the number six also goes through walls, so it's probably better as well. And since Plantera dropped some useful items and plenty of gold, I uh, decided to fight him again. And in the second fight, that went about the same as the first. Nothing he did really did much damage. This time he dropped a wasp gun, which I think is pretty useless, so whatever. And I'm going to fought him the third time just to take advantage of the active buffs. Before starting it for the third time, I first dug a path from the bulb to my arena so I could quickly get back there. And then I went ahead and started the third fight. And at this point, Plantera, of course, has spawned quite a ways away from my arena, so I need to first drag him back there to fight him.
And now that we're back in the arena, the fight is basically the same as it was before. And one more time, just for the heck of it. And for that third fight, I got another Nettle Burst. Not what I wanted. And the fourth one gave me the Thorn Hook. That's actually a really good drop, because that's a better hook than I've got right now. And then they also gave me these Sinx's wings and other equipment um, that I guess the developers like to use when they're playing the game. Not really sure. I mostly just put these away and don't worry about them, because what I'm really after is the hoverboard. And uh, so I don't really care about other wings. And that's what the Nettle Burst does. And this Pygmy Staff is, uh, it'll do more damage than the staff I'm currently using once I reforge it. So I switch to the Pygmies after this. So that's the end of this episode, and in the next one we'll probably fight the Golem.